delay by today. The first MacBook is a MacBook that doesn't appear to boot all the way into the operating system. We move over to the desk cam. You notice I finally got myself a nice new keyboard. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a track point, which renders it sad, but it kind of works. This over here is an A1398 MacBook with an A2000426 board. It's one of the newer 2015-16 models, but before they put that touch bar nonsense in. And the issue with this one is that it doesn't boot into an operating system. As you can see in here, it makes a chime noise, you get an Apple logo, and it goes up a little bit, but then it boot loops. It turns on and off and on and off and on and off. Let's see if we can figure out why it does this. Now, one of the common things that people don't know about that can cause this boot looping is actually a bad battery. So I'm gonna try here with a different battery. This just so happens to be the battery that's sitting right next to me. Even though this battery is not exactly the same shape, it is kinda close. It won't fit in the machine, but this will work for me to test it. So this is original battery is an A1618. I'm putting in an A1417. To be clear, it will not fit properly in the machine, but you can definitely use it for testing. Now, as you can see, when I turn it on, see if this thing boots into an operating system. I'm going to cover this in case it has any names on it that I can't show. This is my high-tech security right here. Meh. It's booting. Booting. And as you can see, we have made it to an operating system, and it's labeled user, so I can... And the trackpad works and everything. So one thing that's important to know about some of the A1398 Retina MacBook Pros from 2015-16 is that unlike a lot of older Apple products, if you have a defective battery plugged in, it's not that it just won't recognize the battery. It actually won't turn on and boot into the operating system at all. Boot looping is typically a very difficult problem to solve. But boot looping is something that can be caused by the battery, and it's something that you should be aware of because if you're doing this type of work for a living, you need to have spare batteries in stock. You need to have known good batteries in stock, even if it's not the exact same model. You can get yourself an A1417 battery, and it'll fit a lot of these different Retina MacBook Pros, and if you're kind of curious as to where it is you can go to get these types of things, if you don't really know where it is you can get stuff that's like, you know, some spare parts and things of that nature, then, well, look no further than our sponsor at store.rossmangroup.com. The only company that will stick with us through thick and thin and always be a sponsor because it's my, my company and I own it. Not only will it cause the machine to run slow as it did with older machines, it will not even boot. These machines need to have batteries to function. Unlike the older MacBook Pros where it would work if your battery died with these machines, if your battery dies, if the glued in battery that you cannot buy in a normal store that Apple will not sell you once the computer becomes vintage, that you need a spatula and alcohol to get out of here because it is industrially adhesed into the machine. If this battery dies, your computer is now a brick. It's not just a desktop computer that you can sit at and use as a desktop. If your battery ceases to function on your MacBook Pro, your computer is now a brick. And well, I think you know who to thank for that. That's it for that one, and as always, I hope you learned something. Uh.